<laughs> Welcome back. This is week two of Candlepins for Cancer presents Candlepin Bowling. Last week we had a great match. Mike McGinty defeated Brian Fuller Jr. 365 to 360. This week we have Dave Godwin taking on Mike. How you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Happy to be here. A lot of good bowlers going on today, and that was a great first match to watch. Hopefully you can keep the momentum going. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have your work cut out for you. Mike's a great young bowler coming up. Sure you're is. a great bowler yourself, so I think we're in for a really good show. Yeah, I've been watching for a long time, so hopefully some fireworks will go off, and we'll have a lot of fun today. I'm looking forward to it. Perfect. Let's bowl. Let's do it. Our winner from last week, Mike McGinty, leading off on lane nine. Starts off with a half Worcester, left side. Beat Brian Fuller Jr. 365 to 360 last week. A fantastic match that was. Oh, he almost picks it up, leaves a seven. Mike will be open for the first. That was definitely a great way to start off the show. A five pin match, could have gone any way. Mike starts with a 10 box there. Usually pleased with a 10 after a half Worcester. Just misses the head pin. Oh, he's got some help there with the 178. Try to be flush on the head pin here. Ooh, was. Doesn't carry the D7 though. It's good ten. Two 10 boxes. Get our first look at Dave Godwin. Dave's our number three seed. 31 years old, high single, 235. <laughs> 235, okay. Somebody check that. Also, also has a 221 on his resume. Just off the head pin. With a 137810. Yeah, Dave's been a great bowler for quite some time. Great youth bowler. feel like he's still a youth. Uh, I'm telling you, as I get older, I still think of these guys as kids. Right. And it starts off with an eight. And like I said earlier, getting those first two boxes out of the way are, you know, kind of key. Then you can then you can settle down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Stop the head pin again. Leaves like the one seven. Get great better all the time. Yeah, that, that's a really fortunate break. Have that whirling dervish piece of wood turn it from the four horsemen into something that really is kind of wired if it just gets to the head pin. And he makes a shot. And so Godwin's on the board. He was definitely helped by the whirling dervish. Don't look at me. <laughs> All right, McGinty with a pair of 10 boxes on the board. On the head pin. Can't get the seven to fall. Thought the wood might have got there uh, to take the seven for a moment, but unfortunately with a difficult leave now. Just misses the outside. And so Mike will be open. And an eight box. 28 through three for Mike early on here in the proceedings. Uh, misses left again. Leaves the cluster on the right. So you have the one, three, five, six, nine and 10. Outside. Nice offer on it. Be open for a fourth box and a nine box. We'll put him at 37 through four. And a golden opportunity for Godwin here early. Nobody won any of the uh, three mark in a row bonus money, as we should remind people. Three marks in a row gets you $25. $25 for each mark after that. Great ball by Dave.
Godwin leaves the 2, 5, and 8. It's really just the 2, 5 with the really piece is. of wood in between. Just oh, missed, leaves the 2. Right. And a nine box. Thirty-four through three for Godwin. Lays one nicely into the one three. Now the seven does trip. Does trip the seven. About twenty pieces of wood on the deck to choose from here. He has enough to see it, but I think he'd be okay. I think he's all right. Yep, right there is a beautiful shot. And Dave's second spare of the first ring. That'll give him a seven pin plus advantage through four. Mike looking to break through for the first time of the string. Great first ball, leaves the 5-10. He had a piece of wood up against the five, it's rolling away. Yep, it's rolling into the left gutter and its friend is coming along with him it seems. Not sure if he was trying to play the wood or if he was trying to cut it clean. Difficult shot either way, I guess we'll never know. He's open again. It is early, but he only has 45 through 5. Opposite the mark, he'd really like to crack the ice here. Another great first ball. Can't seem to break up the 6. Yeah, the 2, 4, and 6. Have to make a tough one to get on the board here. Beautiful bit at it. Beautiful bit. And he'll be open through six. Ten box, 55 through six. Godwin looking to add to the lead, sitting on a mark. the head pin leaves the cluster five. Now this is always a tough shot. Tough shot to carry both of the back pins. He's got the three, five, six, nine, and ten. Blows out the half Worcester on the right. That leaves the five, six, and ten. That's when you have to be full, but not obviously too full. You can't make that shot light. Well, that's a great nine. I'll give him 58 through five. Well, let's see if he can keep up with the pattern and getting spares in even boxes. He's gotten a spare in the second and the fourth. On the head oh, pin. That's with a 10 anywhere. Beautiful ball. That is what we call a hammer. That was a firecracker. Yes. Gives Dave an early 13 pin plus advantage. McGinty with kind of his own. With his own. You know, he throws a second one here. That changes things awfully quick. Uh, just off to the right, he does have a second bonus ball. Hopefully looking to get at least a seven or eight out of this. And he punches through. Ah, a tough five box. That 
that's a tough five. It'll take the wind out of your sails after throwing a nice hammer like that. You know, it, it, it's so tough. You go, you know, you go Marcos for six boxes, and then you finally break through, and all it takes is that one ball. Now Godwin working on a strike of his own. Looking for two. Great ball, leaves the triangle. Boy, flush on the one three and leaves a difficult one. He's got the four, seven, eight, and nine. Throw it at the triangle and see what happens here. God. So Dave will be open here in the seventh. Oh, ooh. A great nine, nine box. That's okay, because he's coming over to lane 10, which he likes lane 10. He is uh, three out of three on lane 10. Just off the head pin. I'll have to make a difficult one to make it four out of four. The one, two, four, six, nine, and 10. Not an impossible shot. Does he make oh! it? Oh! Wow, the wood comes in front of the eight. And a 10 box. Sure, the 10 for 94 gives him a 19 pin advantage. Through the eight completed frames. Now McGinty really needs to get something going here. Yeah, two on the end here. But Definitely help boost his confidence Still going into enough. the second string. Yep. On the headpin again. Right through. Makes a good bid. Yep, he's working hard. Doing all you can do with it. And a good out of. You get an eight box out of that. It's three object pins. Yep. It, you're doing all you can. And, and that's the thing about our game. You could hit objects all day long and get different results every single time. Right on the head pin leaves the four pin. Up the head pin again. Two pin. this and throw something on it. A little bit for your confidence. Oh, just got by. Okay. So 92 okay. for Mike. If nothing else, it's early enough yet. Yep. I mean, that's the great thing about three string match. There's a lot of time left. You know, he, he comes back, throws a 130. First, he's got to fade a couple of boxes from Dave Godwin. And Dave off to the right a little bit, leaves the one, two, four, and 10. Piece of wood coming up is gonna touch the, the head pin, which I think makes the shot even a little more difficult. Nice shot. a great shot. Beautiful shot. Does a great job to carry both the four pin and the 10 pin on that. That'll give him 104 and a ball going into the 10th here. You could put a real stranglehold on the match early on with a strike. Just a pulverizer of a first ball. Buried for nine. Leaves the 10 pin, wide open view. Is left. That's one he's going to want to have back. And the 10 box for a 123 first string. A 123 for Dave over a 92 from McGinty that gives him a 31 pin advantage through the first game. It's also mentioned that the winner of each string gets $25 for each string that they win. So it'll be $25 for Dave Godwin on top of whatever our bowlers are making today. 
And keep in mind the final, the final match is a $3,000 purse between the two bowlers with $2,000 to the winner and $1,000 to the runner-up. So we have Dave Godwin coming in for the starting off our second string on lane nine. 123 is first string. It's got a 31 pin lead. Just off the head pin, piece of wood takes out the one pin. Leave the three, six, seven, ten. Not all bad given the ball. Oh, he gives it a ride. Just sneaks by the two, uh, the three pin. He took out the six, seven, and ten on that. <laughs> That's really difficult to do. And the ten box. Yeah, nice ten for Dave. Off the head pin again, leaves the one, two, seven, nine. Oh, hits it about as good as you can get. And the ball just teases in the nine pin on the way back, you know? Yeah, I thought for sure that would have taken out the seven. Starts with an eight, so he's box. 18 for two, open for his first two. That gives McGinty a chance here to put a little dent in that 31 pin lead. Opposite the two, the two open frames, excuse me. Off to the right, still working for him. That leaves almost the exact same leave that Dave just left. <laughs> Almost like the wood and everything. And we have a nine box for Mike. Mike is also opposite of another open from Dave, so I mean, the door is still open. A lot of time. Stop to the left. It's the four horseman right, and the eight pin. Makes a great pin oh. and he gets it. Oh my goodness. The ones that don't go. Come on now. That's a big mark for Mike. I'm not, ex I'm not entirely sure what happened on that one. Uh, it, uh, all it, I know is, I mean, he, I, you know what, I don't, I don't know. He was a little bit off his object. Next thing I know, things are coming up the ladder. You, you never know. And Godwin takes out the 189. You know, we talked about Brian Fuller being a world champion. Dave Godwin's a three time world champion. Sure is. 2010, 2011, and 2016. He's also, uh, he's also won the Mixed Worlds twice, if I'm not mistaken. Well, one of them I remember was very memorable. Well, why don't you tell me a little bit more about that, Jeremy? I'm not 100% sure on the specifics, but I believe he was down, was it 17 pins? I believe he was down 17 with two boxes to go, if, that, if memory serves. Against Evan Riva, who's one of the, one of the better bowlers from me. Dave drops nine. Um, in his own house. Uh, yeah, that was in Bangor. And uh, yeah, Dave threw a, a triple strike to win the uh, to win the next. Dave picks up the single. Now this is a big fill here for Mike. If he can put 
eight, nine, or ten on this. Where that could build the momentum and start getting him back in his groove. On the head pin. Through three pieces of three pieces of wood at the four pin. You know, none of them took it, but he does have favorable wood now that they have the double. And he throws one of those balls. He throws that, it over. Beautiful shot. You know, It'll be eight and another for McGinty. A lot Sorry, of rotation. Jeremy. Throws the ball hard. You have a bunch of pieces of wood like that, you can just spray stuff around. Okay, we're ready to go on lane 10. There's a huge mark by McGinty opposite the five box from Godwin. Has a chance to put a, a dent in the lead here. On the head pin. Beautiful ball. Another nine drop. A lot of pieces of wood in front. I don't know about the wood in the back on the right. But sometimes these shots are misleading. Yeah, you aren't but, kidding. But it doesn't matter. Pause right through. Yep. Three marks in a row. Twenty-five dollars in bonus money. Twenty-five dollars in bonus money. First time on the show that we've given away three marks in a row. It's twenty-five dollars for every additional mark on top. So he'll have a chance for even more bonus money when he comes back up in two boxes. Now Godwin on a spare in what is all of a sudden an eight pin match. Beautiful Great. ball. Carries everything but the 10. Misses the 10 left. Looking to pick this up. Guess the 10. Now we talked about him having a 235 for a high single. His high triple's 486, a high five of 784, and a high 10 of 1414. Yeah, those are huge numbers. Absolutely huge. Averaging 141 over 10 strings. Just off to the right. Leaves the one, two, four, eight. Miss, leaves the head pin. And plucks it for the 10. So it's 62 for six. Keep it going, Mike. Keep it going now. Mike Baganti looking to add to his bonus money. On the head pin, gets the break, leaves the 6-10. Fortunate to trip the two pin. He's got the 6-10 here. Oh, wow, caps the back of it. Picks it for the 10. Tell you, Mark here puts him right back in this match. It is. It's only nine pins through completed frames now, Jeremy. Godwin with the ten box in the sixth. McGinty with a weird one. He's got the three and the seven. Piece of wood in the channel on the right, but I don't think he's going to think about that. Ten box. Okay. Godwin looking to get it going again. Sixty two after six. The worst mixer in the world. Open, yeah. It's got the high-low jack. Two pieces of wood nestled up by the head pin. Could change the shot a little bit. 
third piece trying to get involved as well. Well, he just wanted to move that wood out of the way. <laughs> and a great 10. So on, also on top of being a three-time world champion, he's the 2007-2008 Rookie of the Year on the old WCBC. Great first ball. Leaves the eight. You're gonna have to go high on that wood. I think he's okay if he sweeps it. You think so? I, th I think so. If he gets low enough, I sh he should be okay, I, th I believe. Oh, you're right. On, you know, Timely I mark for Godwin there. Yeah, you know, as I've said, sometimes things can look misleading. You know, from, from a far distance, some, you know, some things you think are either locked or, you know, touching the pin. His first ball has been right in there. And another one. Goes right through the middle. Two, three, four, six, nine, and the ten. And he punches through the six. Boy, that's that's nightmare fuel. Knowing yeah. you need every pin here. Yeah. Just try to play the two pins and see if you get any more. And I mean five box. Yeah, that's a tough five box right there. He needs to come right back. You know, we talked about last week about having that short-term memory. This is one of those occasions. A half Worcester on the right side. 14-pin match. And he is opposite the spare. Tries to go outside on the head pin. A huge ball here. To back five boxes. So 94 after eight. Goblin now working on a spare. Back on the head pin, nine drop. A timely nine. It is. Your opponent struggles for a couple boxes there. It's nice to put a 19 and another on the board. He's right on it. Big feel here could put put McGinty in a very big hole. And there's another and there's 10. 10 on it. And twenty-five dollars in bonus money for Dave Godwin. So as we spoke last week, we talked about Candlepins for Cancer. The charity that was started by Al Johnson that benefits all the bowlers, uh, their families, people who are struggling with chemo. You know, this charity benefits basically all of them that help help them pay for any expenses and uh, Alfie Johnson's done a great job putting this charity together, Jeremy. And uh, this this charity and this TV show in particular is for the bowlers, by the bowlers. Yep. And anybody that wants to make a donation to Candlepins for Cancer, uh, they can donate to Candlepins for Cancer at 467 High, High Street, number eight, in Hampton, New Hampshire, 03842. Again, any donation that you make goes to bowl, bowlers and bowlers' families that are uh, dealing with any kind of uh, cancer-related funds that they need, including people that are going through chemo treatment and what have you. So right. any donations are, are accepted and willfully accepted, and we appreciate anybody that is willing to donate. Absolutely. Godwin drops seven. 
He's got the one eight and ten. If he can make this, it'll be another twenty-five dollars in his pocket. Oh, it's gonna come back and take the head pin. Well, it is. <laughs> Took a U-turn so there. So that'll be a one thirty in the book for Dave. Two fifty-three for his two-string right, total. Now McGinty's really going to have his work cut out for him. A couple marks here, at least we keep it close going into game three. I was about to say, he finishes with two here. You know, all things, you know what? The game is still, the match is still in reach. On the head pin. Especially when you throw a ball like that. Leaves the 10. Looks like it's a nice flat piece of wood in front. It's pretty straightforward. Oh, that's one of those weird pieces Looks of wood. You don't know how it's going to react. Jeremy, you're you are correct. However, a timely mark. Yep. And big bounce after the back-to-back -back fives. You know, eight, nine, or ten. Back on the head pin again. Will the five fall? It won't. It moved off the spot. There's a couple pieces of wood there on the left, although the one on the left is moving up a bit. I think you may want to hang it all the way on the channel here. Try to get something to snap. That's what he's doing. Oh, and a great bid. Snapped in front. And a nine box for a 119. So we have a 42 pin lead for Dave Godwin. Not insurmountable, but a tall task for McGinty going into the third game here. It absolutely is. So that's the total of our second string, 130 for Dave Godwin, 119 for Mike McGinty. And Mike McGinty coming in, we're starting off our third string. Mike McGinty is down 42 pins, like you said, not, not insurmountable, but a tall task. Could use one out of two at least early and uh, work from there. Right through the middle again. I mean, he his first ball has been on the head pin. Unfortunately, this is a game that if you're a little too full on it, it doesn't really do you any good. Right. Nice out. But as a bowler, I know that there's nothing you can really, you shouldn't change anything, because the ball is there. You can't, you're putting the ball on the object pin, that's all you can ask for. Let the pins fall where they may. Back on the head pin. Looking at the five pin. You get this one, that's all you can ask for. See if you can fade a couple of boxes. Right in the face. Doing his job there. Godwin starting off his third string. Off with six, seven. Leaves the uh, maybe eight yet. Yeah. Does he get the eight? The seven to fall? Well, he's looking at the three, six, and seven. Oh, he gives it a ride. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, not hard enough. Yeah, need a little more gasolina on that one. That second pin just kind of had a die right there. And a nine box to start the string for Dave. Now Dave's in a situation, you know, he's up over, up over 40 pins. He's feeling comfortable, but at the same time, you don't want to be too comfortable. You can't take even a single box off, especially when your opponent has a markup. Because that 40 turns into 30, turns into 20, next thing you know. Yep. Looking at the four pin. Yep. 
clutch. Picks it for the spares. Right on time. They match spares in the second box. Two good boxes from Godwin. This is a key fill here for McGinty. Just off the head pin. Gets a break. Leaves the head pin. That's one he's looked at. But, but sometime, sometimes being off the head pin helps, and he picks the head pin in the, right in the front. Two marks in a row. He's looking to add 25 more dollars in bonus money. And keep himself in the match. Just off the head pin again. He's got the mix working. Uh, leaves a 7-10. There's some wood on the deck. Strange way to leave the 7-10. wonder if he goes super low on the middle wood. That's, almost at the 7 pin. And that's what I was thinking. Right there. Nice oh, what shot. a shot! <laughs> Three marks in a row. What a shot to keep himself in the match. Godwin needs to have an answer here. It's taking a second. You don't want to rush. And a seven fell. He goes Whoa! outside. Oh, it sneaks behind <laughs> it. And that's exactly how, that's really the only way that shot goes. Just about. And the 10 box. I mean, unless you want to try to cut the five into the 10 and have something come back. But I mean, wow, what a shot. What a shot. I just want to take a minute to, you know, give well wishes to Danny Murphy, who's an ambassador, has been an ambassador for this game for well over 30, 40 40 years. Um, just want to let him know that the Candlepin community is behind him. Absolutely. Danny Murphy's done a lot for this game. Uh, I mean, I remember him most as uh, the Comcast host, you know, personally, yep. um, a Western Mass guy. And um, yeah, Danny, the, uh, the com uh, community is behind you 100%, bud. Yep. We hope you're well. Dave with the nine drop. And he's and all he over. Picks it for the spare. Again, a timely mark from Godwin. He's been Johnny on the spot with those marks. McGinty's he's got nine pins back, which makes it a 33-pin match. So it's not over yet. He's put a little dent in it, but he needs to keep it going. Yeah, he needs he needs a good eight, eight, nine, or ten. On the head nice pin. Nice ball. Is he gonna get eight? He's and he gets get, nine. Gets nine, an important nine too. And, he, and keeps, he runs it. Keeps the mark streak alive. Another $25 in bonus money for Mike McGinty. He's got a total of $75 in bonus money so far. Keeping himself in the match here. Wow, light on the head pin. Boy, just four. Leaves a cluster five on the right and the seven. Three, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Puts it on the three. No, oh, just, just slides by. by. Just slides by. And a seven box. Still give McGinty eighty five through six. Godwin now with 46 on the ball through four. An all important fill. On the head pin. Leaves the eight and the nine. Looks like if he just hits that eight, the nine pin. 
A nine and a ten. Yeah, right on the nine pin should be okay. Yep. And a great time we spare. He's looking to add twenty-five dollars more of his own bonus money. On the head oh, beautiful again. ball on the one three. Eight drop. Nice piece of wood, although it's rolling out kind of far. Yeah, it makes the shot a little bit more difficult, especially now that it really flattened out. Maybe even want to go all the way to the right, I think. Well, I mean, defi definitely right side of the stripe. Yeah, a little bit that, more. Yep. Yeah, still leaves the door a little bit open for Mike. Oh, guess the 10. That gives Dave 82 through 6. He's down 3 for the game, but he is up 39 for the total, which means Mike is really going to have to go 4 out of 4 here. Yep. Which he's done already in this game. So. He has. they got to start with 1. Off the head pin, not a bad break. Actually, that's a very good break. Turned out okay. Uh, two, four, seven, and nine, or two, four, seven, and eight, excuse me. Let's try to plow right through this. And it trips the seven. It trip the seven. For about a half a second, that wasn't looking so good. It, it didn't want to, Jeremy. In the end, it did fall forward, and again, keeps him alive. Off the head pin again. At least the four horsemen, the five and the nine. For a four fill. He gives it a ride, leaves the 10. And a nine box for 108 after eight. Through completed boxes, Godwin is up 39 pins. He is opposite the mark right now. I got the four and the five. There is a piece of wood rolling out a little bit. I think you want to go left side of that wood. Leaves the four pin. And the 10 box. So Dave will have 92 through seven. It's almost academic at this point, but you never know. Until he's up 31 pins with one box to go. And a great ball and a strike. Beautiful ball. There, I'll put it to bed. He's the four, seven, ten. Oh, and he makes it. Nice shot. Beautiful shot by McGinty. He's telling Godwin, I'm not dead yet. Beautiful first ball. You couldn't have thrown a better ball. He'll be stone dead in a moment, Jeremy. <laughs> little Monty Python. <laughs> a, little, a little Easter egg for you Monty Python fans out there. And a a ten nice 10. Some a fine bowling. 136. Some fine bowling. Uh, 
when filling the strike. It was the one seven nine ten. Well, there's one friendly piece of wood. You know, the way he throws the ball, he could just scatter everything. Leaves the nine and the ten. And an eight box. 118 for, for nine. 34 pin lead. And Dave Godwin is going to be the winner. Dave is going to advance. He's going to take on Corey Packard next week. Corey Packard is, has been bowling very well lately. Corey generally does do that. He does. And I'm not only saying that because he's my partner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he tries oh, to uh, cut it Dave over. A nice bit on that. Leaves a six. Comes out of the gutter. It's a nine box for a 127 for a 380 triple. So Dave Godwin advances 380 to 347. A nice steady 380 from Dave to be expected, I think. And um, Mike, with the with the tough first game, uh, that really set the tone. A um, couple tough boxes in the second game as well that really really gave Dave the opportunity, and he seized upon it. Yeah, absolutely. Another great match. Awesome match. Can't wait to the next one. Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome back. Mike, you gave it a run at the end, man. <laughs> uh, too little, too late. Built myself a real big deficit in that first game against a guy like Goblin. You just can't do that. That's, that, that, that's I mean, as a bowler just like Dave, that's somebody that you can't really dig yourself a big hole, but you I mean, the four marks in a row were huge in the third string. You walked out, you had $75 in bonus money. Hey, it's not bad. Not too bad. $300 for finishing fourth. Not too bad. I mean, look forward to seeing you again. Oh, I'll definitely be back. And uh, I got vengeance for Dave now, so I got a reason to get back <laughs> on the show and beat him. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you, buddy. Thank you.